Alrighty, so today's day, we are going to be mostly all road riding, it sounds like. We're going to be heading east, no, west on the island to go to some little town that has a bunch of stuff. And they're saying that that town is pretty much the first stop on the North Island 1000, which one day we will be doing. At some point, it's on the list anyhow. So that's today's adventure. Just roll into this spot. They're telling us it's gonna be a good lookout here. So let's go find out. Oh yes. Wow. So although today's been a long road day, it's still super cool checking all, all new areas. Wow. That is cool. This is pretty awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, excellent, eh? Excellent. This might even be drone worthy. So are you happy you got to stop and check out all this old logging equipment? It was a dream come true. <laughs> this old stuff is awesome. What do you think of the spot there, Blondie? It's nice. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Not very summery, though. No, it's super windy. It's pretty chilly out here. And the tide is ripping. Well, this thing's been here a while. So as I've been walking down the beach, watching this seal or something jump out of the water and I haven't got a chance to get on the video yet. But I did find this, which is pretty cool. Hundred years old. Okay, so first real casualty of the day, the popo's down. So after we left the beach, he stopped and says, hey, wheel's buggered. Hey, you want me to give it a little shake? Give, come give this thing a shake. Yeah, hey, I'll come give it a shake. Shake and bake. You see where the, the axle's actually been hitting the housing. So the bearing is done. Oh, bye-bye, buried. <laughs> Good thing they're leaving tomorrow, so it didn't totally ruin their trip, but 
Just spent about an hour here standing guard so nobody would steal this thing, which no one's going to steal it anyway. So why would they? And then uh, went back, got his truck and load this thing up and off we go. You got to put it in gear too. Was it gear? In four wheel drive? Yep. Oh yeah. See how Mike does on this corner, tight trail for him. Tia's riding passenger, so we'll see what she thinks of that when this is done. place else where you can ride down to the ocean and then come right up in here and all these super techie trails within an hour of each other yeah, this place has cool. a very very diverse trail system it's awesome What do we got here? We have, this is up the dry creek. Oh, the dry creek. You know, something that's working out really well is those system three tires. 10 ply, haven't cut one sidewall down yet. Who has the system three, is us? We or do. Mike? <laughs> Mike, I think uh, Jimbo is the only one running evils. Everyone else is system three. Yeah. And those evils are awesome tires too. Oh, yeah, so it's not up the completely dry creek. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign though, there's not going to be any forest fires here, there's still water. <laughs> that should be a nice little climb. Yeah, it's going to be great. With 
our squeaky machine. Actually fit through there? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's about a six-inch rotten one came down off my back tire and wedged inside between the tire and the wheel. I had to get out. But you made it through. But I made it through. No inch today. No problem. Not so yet. Far. Not yet. So far. We're only three quarters of an hour into today's ride. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got some tire spots up here. I'm gonna follow you up. Okay. I spoke too soon about the system three tires. <laughs> Keep going. It's only flat on the bottom, Mike. You'll be fine. I, I think that bearing is gone too. That's okay. You can find Nathan's. My driver. of Honolulu which is a black diamond trail but apparently we've just done the easy part of it so now we're doing the more challenging so we'll see how this goes got another nasty part of the trail coming up and I'm getting my cardio Oh yeah, this does look pretty good. Oh yeah. This looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
like Dean is stuck. Yeah, he's high centered on the stump there, I think. Drop this. I'm high centered. Who is that? It's the passenger side of your machine. Oh. I think you wrecked it. Yeah. This is the first time pulling cable this weekend? Other than that mud hole. Yeah, which doesn't count, That's they right. said. <laughs> think by lightning and then tons of roots which I'm sure the camera won't really do justice to but so it lost a mirror on the previous obstacle passenger mirror I think it's because he didn't have his awesome co-pilot in there guiding him so hopefully nothing else happens here the mirror is not a big deal So that's just wrapping up our five days here on Vancouver Island, Campbell River area. What do you think? Good. It was very good. What's going on here? <laughs> First, we have to thank the, the Island Boys for inviting us over and showing us around this, this wicked spot. I mean, this, this area has tons of riding, anything from riding easy rides down to the beach or obviously tight technical stuff that breaks mirrors off. Um, and then we got to shout out to the Campbell River ATV Club for cutting all these trails. What a ton of work that is, and there's a, a ton of trails, so it would not disappoint anybody to come up here. So I give it two thumbs up. So if anybody wants to come up here, get a hold of the Campbell River ATV Club or get yourself some sort of guide because you'll get lost out here. It's super, super fun. Right? Yep. Bye bye. <laughs>